welcome again to Let's Talk. Today, I will show you how to create a simple bank account ledger so you can monitor what is going in and out of your account. The formulas we will use will make monitoring easier to do. So what I have here on our sheet is a, the name of the bank and the account number so that you will know what a bank account number you are monitoring. And then you also see here a list of dates. These are the dates for every transaction that you have in the account. We also have a check number column in case you are using checks uh, for, uh, for some transactions. We also have the particulars column. So this is a description of the transaction. Um, you will see here, let's say, um, salary, rent, insurance, etc. Now we also have our deposit column and then our withdrawal column and then the balance. So what we will try to do now is try to fill in the balance column. So when we have here a list of transactions in our bank account, what we normally want to know is what is going to be the ending balance or the current balance. So with this example, what we would normally do if we have our spreadsheet is we will just be putting the equal sign and then our cell where the balance brought forward is. So the balance brought forward just means um, it is the amount that you have prior to 2020. So since this is a new monitoring sheet for the year. Now for the next transaction, you will see that there is going to be a um, withdrawn amount to pay for a mobile postpaid uh, service. So what we would normally do is we would just put the equal sign go to the previous balance, and then subtract the withdrawn amount. So that will give us 49,001. Now, since there is going to be a new um, or a deposited amount, what we will do next is we will just go to the previous balance and then add our deposit amount, which is 2,100. So our balance will now uh, bring up to 51,101. Now, doing it this way would be very tedious and it is prone to errors, meaning there might be a tendency that you might click on the wrong uh, amount or you might uh, you know, press the wrong um, operand. Instead of typing in the negative sign, you might be um, using the plus sign. So let us not use this type of um, computation. So what others, uh, what others do also is they would just go to the last transaction. So let's just say that this is the, the last transaction. And what they will do is they will get the sum of all values found in the deposit column. So that's going to be sum and then E to E. So you would be able to get the entire uh, amount for that particular column. And then subtract the sum of all values found in the withdrawal column. So that's going to be sum and then column F to F. And then doing that would give you 82,462. So how did we get 82,462? This is the correct, um, this is the correct uh, current balance for this date on April 17. So what it did is just it took the sum of all values in the deposit column, and that's 148,550, and then it subtracted the amount 66,087. So that's found in the withdrawal column. So again, um, subtracting 66,087 from the total deposit of 148,550 will give us the balance of 82,462. Now, it looks like we've already found our solution, but if you are going to enter another transaction, so let me just put here a credit card payment. So let's uh, just put here April 19 and let us put their credit card payment. So let's say um, the credit card payment is at 20000 now, before I press enter, let us look first at the current balance. So, it is at 82,462. Now, if I press enter, the balance will now become 62,000. Even if this formula is found on the uh, April 17 uh, row, it will still, um, you know, include the 20,000 transaction even um, if the, the transaction was done after your uh, current date or the date in that particular row. So using this as reference or using this as formula rather won't be able to give us the current balance for a particular date. So again, we need to take this one or not consider that one as our formula. What we need to do is something similar. So what we 
uh, we need to go back to our first cell. And then we will be typing sum and then go to our first cell, which is in E6. Now, typing E6 to E6 will give us the same amount. So it is just adding the cell found in E6. Now, following that formula earlier, we need to subtract whatever is found in the corresponding withdrawal column or the cell in the withdrawal column. So here we would be at, um, subtracting the sum of F6 to F6. So let me just put a close parenthesis and then press enter. So since this is zero or blank, it gave us 50,000. If I copy this formula and place it down to the next row, it will give us negative 999. Now, why did it do that? Because what it did is it just added, if I'm going to look at the formula, it just added uh, the sum or the cells in E7 and then subtracted the amount 999 from it. That's why it gave us the result of 900 or negative 999. Now, what we need to do is we need to fix our first cell. So going back, what we just need to do here is make the first cell reference an absolute reference. So how do we do that? We just need to put an, uh, a dollar sign prior to our cell references. So first we need to do it uh, or we need to enter it as equals sum dollar $E dollar $6 to dollar $E6 minus the sum of, and then we will also do it here. This is going to be an absolute reference again. So it's going to be dollar $F$6 dollar to F6. And then when we press enter, it will still give us the same amount at 50,000. But if we're going to copy this formula and bring it to the next row, it will now become 49,001. So what happened? What it did is it just added the sum from dollar $E, um, dollar $E, dollar $6 to E7 and then subtracted the amount from, found from dollar $F6, to do, uh, $F6 to F7. So since uh, this is how it was created, when we press enter, it just subtracted 999 from 50,000. Now, copying this again and bringing it down or pasting it to the next row, it will now give us 51,101. So, if we're going to look at the formula, it is now adding 50,000 plus 2,100 and then subtracting the, uh, the total uh, withdrawal value as of January 12, which is still at 999. So, which is why the value is now 51,101. If you will copy this formula and place it until the end, we will now have our value at 62,462. So this is going to give us the current uh, amount or the current balance based on the row that we are in or the date that we are in. Now, you might see that there are some green marks on the cell, so you might be wondering what this is. This is just a way for Excel to tell the user that something might be wrong in the, in the cell because they, uh, they don't see a pattern for this particular formula. Why? It's because our formula keeps changing every row. But that's just okay. It's just uh, Excel's way of saying that there is something wrong, but it's not necessarily wrong. So what you need to do to get rid of those green marks is just uh, highlight them and then click on the warning icon and then just click on ignore error and that will already disappear since you all know that this is not really uh, an erroneous formula. So if I will now add a new uh, entry, so let's say this is going to be April 20, uh, 2020 and um, I have, let's say, a... Um, uh, a tutorial service, all right? So this will now be at, let's say, at 2,000. So when I enter 2,000 and then I copy the formula, it will now add 2,000 to my current balance, all right? So that's how you can create your bank account ledger. So there is, uh, this would be easier for you to, um, to, to use. You just need to copy the formula going down to the um, uh, succeeding uh, rows. So you don't need to manually enter whether it's an additional, uh, uh, for, uh, it's an uh, addition or a subtraction uh, formula or operation. So I hope you learned something new from our tutorial today. And um, if, 
please like, follow, and subscribe our accounts in Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. And that's um, that's Facebook dot com slash let's talk that's youtube dot com at uh, slash let's talk it's also i'm using the same handling uh, or the same profile name for instagram that's at let's talk now um, you will see our free tutorials there and if you want to know more about ms excel you may enroll in our class so just go to the link let's uh, or to the url let's talk dot com slash excel training um that uh, url is also found in our description so again, thank you very much. That's it for now. Thank you for watching. Until next time. Bye.